man, this has got to be the one. It's kicking my ass. <laughs> 20 minutes till midnight. Doesn't matter how big this thing is, we don't get it in before deadline. No one's going to notice if I'm a few minutes over. I would. You know the rules, Brubaker. The rodeo ends at midnight. You don't land it before then, it don't count. Yeah, well, I'm going to land it, all right. And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to change it in for that check with my name on it back at the marina. We are going to catch the biggest amberjack that this town has ever seen, OK? How do you know it's not a grouper or a marlin or a tire? If I want any lip from you, I'd pull down your panties. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Daddy. Hey, honey, can you put that damn camera down and pull my reel here for me? Uh, yeah, that's better. Uh, yeah. What are we going to do with that $30,000, Pop? We're going to buy a boat. Oh, yeah. No more charters. <laughs> Tired of Captain Crunch up there breathing down my neck. <laughs> look, look, look. Oh, Daddy. Let's get getting closer. Get the gaff, honey. Get the gaff. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Switch. Come on now. You got to hold on to this. It's fighter. Hold I got on. It. Ow. Yes. Keep reeling now. This ain't no Girl Scout picnic. Come on. Oh, I know. Reel it in. Get, get closer. Anywhere. You got it? Oh, don't screw <laughs> this up now. Come on. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Oh. Whoa. A fish. Oh, that fish ain't my fish. You cost me $30,000, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Sorry, folks. Guess you have to wait till next year to win one of these. Just hope your friend isn't waiting for you, too. Oh, I'll make sure he isn't. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> you eat this, you mother! No guns on my boat, damn it! You're done, Bro Baker! <laughs> Don't just stand there. We got us a great right to kill. Be careful. OK? Yes. All right. Look, we give this shark $30,000 worth of pain now, OK? okay. Give me that. You take this. And go get me my damn hot sauce. <sighs> <laughs> worth losing the money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the great white shark. Nature's perfect killing machine. Until me and my daddy whipped his ass. The door is
you look at that water? Hey, dude, you gonna let me bust the cherry on your jet ski? Hell no. Nobody's riding it but me. Come on, man. I'm not gonna scratch it. Because you never get the chance. Come on. Unless you wrecked me up with your little sister. That's not gonna happen, dude. She thinks you're a total jackass. Well, I guess you're out of luck. I don't think anyone's gonna be looking at your eyes, Taylor. Hey, the honey, I told you, it's all about the total package. You're never gonna get anywhere with your prude mood or that hideous swimsuit. Where'd you get that thing anyway? Your grandmother's closet? What's wrong with it? Nothing, if you're trying to stay a virgin. Blaze, what do you think of Ava's suit? I think it's really nice. Don't listen to him. Horny boys will say anything. What about mine? Maxim material? Maximum jailbait. Jailbait? What does that mean? Means he's not interested in little girls with criminal records. Ava, breaking and entering. We're all so proud. It's called curiosity. I wasn't going to steal anything. Hey, just think. One day your curiosity can be tried as an adult. Whoops. You little. He should be arrested. Such a cute couple. How come you're not out there? I don't swim. Don't or can't. There's a big difference. I don't swim. <laughs> What's your sister's excuse? Why? You have a crush on her, don't you? So what if I do? She's the only the most boring person who ever lived. Sister. What up? Check it out. It's Dad's boat. Oh yeah. That's cool. Did he have a charter today? Why don't you call him? What's wrong? She's always tripping. Can you hand me my phone, please? He's telling you. You have reached 850-99. Straight to voicemail. What the hell is he? He's probably just down in the cabin. No, he never leaves the wheel. Looks like it's drifting in a dock a little bit. Check it out. All right. No, 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 no. Just chill, okay? We'll wait till camera gets back. Let's just get Blame. Seriously? I just bought those. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Where are they going? Listen to me. You just hate that I beat you. 
Dad? Dad! Oh my god. Dad? Is that Dad's? I don't think so. What is this? Seem like you got your head on straight. He doesn't believe us. I can believe your friend may have been eaten by a shark. It's the description of that shark that I am having a hard time with. I told you it was translucent. Translucent. The word of the day. When you say translucent, you mean like a jellyfish? Meaning we could see right through it. I know what the damn word means. It was like something I've never seen before. I got a missing teenage girl, presumed dead, and a boat. No occupants. I was really hoping you could help me out here. Ted's dead, too. You don't know that for sure. No reason to lose hope yet. He's dead. Taylor's dead. There was blood all over the transom. Oh, hell. I caught a marlin once blood all over the deck. Left a mess not unlike your dad's boat. Amberjack rodeo was last night. Maybe really in a big one. But the difference is you're still here. You think ghosts are logical, Sheriff? Who said anything about ghosts, Finch? I did. You know, that's the trouble with people like you, Sheriff. Never want to deal with the truth till it's too late. Ghosts are real. As real as the lies this town was built on. As real as the price we're going to pay for those sins. You mark my words. You mark my words. Well, maybe if you dried out occasionally, your words might actually mean something.
What's he talking about? I don't know, Ava. Look, I'm putting a missing persons report out on your father and your friend. In the meantime, I'm calling your Aunt Marge. Come get you. We'll be fine on our own. Cameron! Dad! One more time. You were on the jet ski. What happened? I don't know. Taylor was screaming about a shark, and next minute she was gone. Shark. There hasn't been a shark attack in small part in over 20 years. Are you sure? You should have seen Good it. Lord, it, it, Cameron. It looked like you. A shark know. scare put this town on welfare by winter. Are you absolutely sure, son? I, hold on, Sheriff. Come here, please. Put a thousand dollar bounty on all sharks in the bay. Keep it quiet. Last thing we need is a media feeding frenzy around here. Draw some signs. It should say beaches are closed for 24 hours. Okay. If I have to do a press conference about a shark attack, sure, I had better sure, be standing next here. to a dead Please. one. All right, all right. You understand? Yeah. Got it. Come on, son. What? Hiring a bunch of shark bounty hunters isn't going to do anything. Just let us handle this. Try and get some sleep. Sheriff, can I get with you for a minute, Think Please. about what you actually saw. We'll pick this up again tomorrow. Hey. Let me bring you home. No. Please. Really, it's OK. We'll walk. You sure? That's where it cuts off. Play it again. How do I play the damn thing back? Here. Oh, Daddy, who whipped his ass? There. That's definitely the shark I saw. One eye and a hole in the skin. That's definitely the shark that tried to eat me. Except for the shark that we saw, you could see through. Are we on this again? Ever heard of an optical illusion? The shark was dead, they killed it. Or temporarily dazed, or playing a possum, maybe. And you can't explain how a shark killed three people on the deck of a boat. In police work, the simplest explanation is usually the right one. A couple of yahoos got a great white wild up. Your father paid the price for it. Let's give it a few more days. Ava, nothing turns up. I'll reach out to the community, give your daddy the kind of service he deserves. I really appreciate that, Sheriff, but the shark that killed Taylor and my dad was not your average shark. I understand how upset you are, but you are really going to have to let us do our job. I mean, maybe he's right, Ava. I mean, the way that the shark looked, it could have been a reflection of the sun. Is he not paying you to say that? Sheriff Martin, mind one. We were pretty far away. Martin. I know I didn't get At the Marine. You, you check the peeler bars. <laughs> no, no, I'll be right now. Ava. Listen to your friends. You don't want to wind up like Finch. Can we get something to eat? Damn it. The pool party. People are going to start showing up to my house any minute now. Party? What? I told everybody to invite anybody. Do, do you know who's going to be showing up to this thing? Man, you're stupid. The only way this thing is going to get canceled is with a SWAT team. And my sister's sorority friends are driving in from Houston. What are you talking about? Fuck, the, the pool party. What if we turned it into a memorial? Yeah. You're seriously talking about a party? 
Don't worry about those guys, all right? They're just being jerks. Look, what do you want to do right now? Go home. I don't think y'all should be alone. Why don't you let me take you in Sicily and we'll go do something? We'll get something to eat. Please. I know you mean well, but no way. Can you at least just promise me that you'll text me or call me if you need anything? Anything, I'm serious. What do you want? The sheriff sends you out here to spy on me or something? No. Why would he want to do that? I didn't see nothing. But you're the lighthouse keeper, right? What's that supposed to mean? You think everything that happens off the coast is my responsibility? Of course not. But yesterday you were talking like you knew something about ghosts. feet long and a swallowed tail of Oh my god, you must have been so scared. What did you do? Well, I had my diving knife and I started stabbing that thing. Gas, 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 with all Michael Myers on that bitch. But then it was too late to save Taylor. You're so bright. Salute, ladies. I'm busy. Hi. Hi. I tried calling before. Oh, I was... Hey, Blaze. Hey. You were right about the party. It was stupid. I, I shouldn't have... I, um... It was a dumb idea to try to have fun right now. It was not the right time for that. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad you came. 
I want to show you something. Uh, Daddy whipped his ass. How did you get this? I stole it from the sheriff's computer while he was talking. No! It's pretty ballsy. Doesn't bother you to be watching this. There. That's not a solid figure, is it? You're seeing this, aren't you? Yeah, I'm seeing it. But I'm not the one you gotta convince. Back in the day, my favorite game was Rich Battletoads. Now I'm still the same, but you're a racket on some centipodes. They have to name this one, I'm not the nonsensical. I'm not a secretary, I'm playing to myself. Others are saying makes no sense. You gotta start telling me the truth right now. What, what, what type of drugs was y'all on? Bad songs? PCP? Did y'all take a bad trait and start annoying on each other? You gotta tell me. That's the only way I can protect you. It was the shark, Dad. Look, that one from stop the saying it was the shark. It's the truth. Why won't you believe it's me? Not that I don't believe you. But if you keep spouting off with that nonsense, not even I can stop them from putting you in the lonely bed. Really? Are you worried about me in the next election? What? You worried about me in the next election? Look, don't put this back on me. We got a bunch of mutilated bodies in our yard, and the authorities won't answer now, son. Now! You wait right there, and don't you move. Sheriff, don't you move. You got a second? Excuse me. Sheriff. Bring Cameron down, put him in an isolated cell. Till he starts talking, sober up a boat. It's for his own safety. But do it quietly. Last thing I need around here is rumors going around saying that he's responsible for this hell of a mess. Thank you, Sheriff. Sure. Camp. Camp. Yeah. What happened? It got mixed, man. It got a bit torn to pieces. Where did it come from? Cameron, why don't you take a ride with me? What for? You just want to take a ride with your son. Just want to ask you some questions. I didn't do anything. We know you didn't. Maybe you can help us figure out who did. Why don't you ask the other witnesses who were here what they saw? I don't have time to listen to this nonsense anymore, Ava. It's not nonsense. It's fact. A fact that's going to swim up and bite you in the ass if you don't wake up. Shut up. We appreciate your concern. 
With that being said, you better get out of my sight before I have you locked up. You hear me, Missy? I didn't stutter. But you don't. Shut up. Stay out of my way. Just and stay, shut up, son. Stay away from Cameron and stay out of my way. Let's go. Get out of my way. Sheriff. Oh. Sheriff. You're going to want to see this. Oh, God. I uh, found this little number over in the bushes there. And here's something you're not going to see on Discovery Channel. That, what is it? Mm. That can't be real. Oh, that's real. Are you sure? Good. I don't know how that guy got elected. He's a total ass. Tell me about it. You all right? I'm fine. And you? No! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Go! I go! Yes, this is happening. Yeah. Cameron! Cameron! I'm a bitch you like your soul, son! in a string of mysterious killings that have terrorized Smallport over the last 48 hours. 13 people are reported dead. Meanwhile, there are swarms of rumors about an unidentified animal that may have attacked in these cases. Police say they are trying to find three crucial victims who could be vital in solving this case. Ava Reed, Blaze Parker, and Cameron Stahl, who's the son of Mayor Frank Stahl, were witnesses to the fatal shark attack in an area ironically nicknamed Dead Man's Point, which began this bizarre cycle of violence two days ago.
Can't you read? This area's off limits. Stay away right here! Hey! You come out now, I won't call the cops! See the nuttiest guy in town? That's what's got me to the electric chair now. You didn't have to come. Starting to wish I didn't. Why do y'all want to go to that lighthouse? There's probably snakes and stuff out here. Ava, wait up. You guys really think this is cool? Just keep an eye out. What? For what? Snakes, man. Look at my shoes. Ah. Come on. Ava, Ava, wait, 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 wait. wait. He's not home, we should bounce. This is breaking and entering. This is entering, the door's already open. Dude, that's a felony, and I don't do felonies. It's a misdemeanor, baby. Grow up here. Yeah. We'll grow up here. Hello? Hello? Yo, Ava, check it out. It's the basement. One creepy ass dude. I think this guy might have more problems than we do. Whoa! Don't touch that! Mr. Finch! I'm sorry, but your door was open. It's still breaking and entering. Aren't you? So you do know what's going on, don't you? Maybe. Good. Maybe you can help us stop it. Stop it. The cave brings things back. It don't take them away. Cave? Yes! The cave! Down at the cave! Puff. They're all connected. They want to keep it a secret. I know. Elsa. Is that you? Mr. Finch? Why do you call you Allison? All right, help me lift him. What are we going to do with this guy? Productive. <laughs> hey, this is Ava. Leave a message. Where the hell are you? The cops are here. They say you're interfering with their investigation. They practically waterboarded me. Just call me or text me or something before I have a little freak out, okay?
Sicily! No sign of Cameron yet. Yeah, I should have found him by now. Paging Sheriff Martin. Finding your son is the least of my concerns right now. We're getting more 911 calls than dispatcher can handle. Not that I have the deputies respond to them all anyway. Maybe it's time we let people know we saw in that video. What, inside a mass panic? Frank, my car was hot waxed with the entrails of a woman washing it. I'd say the town's already panicked. Henry, prepare a press release for me. It should read, public safety is my primary concern. Everything that can be done is being done. Release the video. No common speculation of who we think it is. Let them see it for themselves. Yes, sir. And get Ava Reed on the phone. Tell her bring camera on here right now, or this is going to be the worst day of her life. Here is Martin, line one. The worst. Today can get worse. Yes. Hello, Martin here. Hello. Hello. She needs help. Yeah, you have help. No. She needs to see a paramedic. I'm fine. You see, she's fine. No, she's not. No. Don't be a baby. Seriously, it looked way worse than it is. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, get up. Let's see you try and walk. <sighs> see? I'm fine. Hey, look at this. It's a news article from nine years ago. Fitch might not be as crazy as we thought he was. So that's Allison. That's Fitch's wife. It says she drowned in a cave near the lighthouse when the high tide came in. I remember that. A lot of people thought that he killed her. So that must be the cave that he's talking about. I guess so. Where do we find my dad's boat? And where did that thing first show up? Practically on Finch's doorstep. We saw Finch yesterday leaving the Maritime Museum. They have all kinds of stuff about that lighthouse there. Stuff that's not online. It's better than nothing. I got it! What? It appears in water. Any water, right? So maybe it can't manifest itself unless there's water around. Maybe all we gotta do is stay dry and it'll leave us alone. Oh, no, please, no. Come on, here we go. Come on. Wait up! Wait up, I'm coming with you! No, 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 no. I need you to stay here. Seriously? Just do this for us, please. Come on. Hey, are you okay? Yes. All right, good, good. Now wait till we're gone and then answer the door. Hey, okay? and we were not here. Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's Department, open up. Come on. Come on. Go, go. Go, go. engine back so soon I told you they're not here you're welcome to take another look around if you want the doors unlocked aren't you a little young to be driving not according to the DMV you wait right here
<laughs> Brings things back. You have to help us. I'm coming back. <laughs> What the hell was that? Building demolitions. Part of my dad's new small port initiative. Oh yeah? How's that going? Just drive. You quit. I did. You got to go ahead. I'll cut you off. But I'm going to look over here, all right? Ava, come look at this. Wow, listen to this. Look, look at what it says here. Built in 1897 after hundreds of ships crashed into the shallow reef. Hmm. I guess that's why they call it Dead Man's Point. You guessed wrong. Do you know anything about the cave by the lighthouse? Ah, you think what's going on in town has something to do with the old legends and ghost stories? More or less. Have either of you heard of the legend of the lost Rono colony? Yeah. Those colonists in the Carolinas who all just vanished without a trace a couple hundred years ago. Very good. What if I told you that a similar thing happened right here? I would ask you why I never heard of it before. Because... The town elders did their best to keep it a secret. Before 1803, Smallport was the Spanish province of Ensenada Cabo. Now, this diary happens to be the most detailed documentation of the history in this area at the time. And just like Roanoke, the entire population vanished into thin air. Maria, who wrote this, was convinced that spiritual forces were responsible. Wait, what do you mean, spiritual? Supernatural. Ghosts. Do you believe it? <laughs> no. no. It was more likely a plague of some kind, and Maria herself was most likely infected by the disease, too. I'm betting that the stories in here were just fevered hallucinations. So, where does the cave come in? Ah, uh, Maria's journal begins after some of the infected were rounded up, brought to the cave, and executed. Maria writes that uh, soon after the murders, the angry dead rose up and ravaged the town. The journal cuts off in the middle of the last entry. Anyone who dies in the cave violently will rise again. Uh, <laughs> no. What I'm about to show you is the companion piece to the memoir, a grimoire, which is a book of spells that gives very detailed instructions on how to send vengeful spirits into hell. It's gone. What was supposed to be here? The grimoire, the book that was in this display case. He was acting even stranger than usual, but I never thought he would do something like who this. Who was it? The lighthouse keeper, Darnell Finch. He was the only other person who was in here today. Finch.
exhibit. is in a mass panic, that's fine. I totally understand all that. But the election is coming up. Okay, Sheriff? If I lose my job, you can lose your job too, Sheriff. That's what you want. What's your emergency? Hi. Um, we have two people dead here at the Maritime Museum. The Maritime Museum? Yes. They put, we're sitting in officers your location. Tell them to turn off the sprinklers before they go in. You've got to be kidding me. What are you doing? You can't drive. I can drive. I just don't have my license yet. You need to go home. Where's Cameron? It's none of your business. No, just please. Get your ass back home. Why? It's not any safer there. It's a lot safer there than where we're going. Let me help. You can help me by laying low and staying dry, okay? Will you take her home, please? Yeah. Where are you going? I'm about to drive into a hellstorm, and I don't want her riding shotgun. What happened to Cameron? Meet me at the lighthouse, okay? Are you sure it's a good idea? No, but Finch has the book, and I think it's time for an intervention. Okay. Oh, dear God. Are you sure? No. No. I'm telling Found Cameron. It's about damn time. No, Frank. We've got two people dead at the Maritime Museum. Cameron's one of them. I'm sorry. Is that charter boat still down at the docks? Reed's boat? Yeah, I think so. Why? Get your gear. Go on and fish. Frank, Arlene, try and hold off Armageddon until I get back. Oh, 
Frank! Frank, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Frank! You are not thinking straight. No, I get it now. It's the curse. I'm gonna hunt that son of a bitch down on his own turf. Me and you, Sheriff. This is crazy. You'll get your revenge, Frank, but right now you revenge? need... Revenge? You think I'm worried about revenge? I want revenge. I want justice. Department didn't get the memo. Hey! Get out of the water! Move! They don't look very nice. I got this. Kid, listen to me. You're in a lot of danger, all right? You gotta get out of the water now. What's your problem, Pump? I'm trying to help you, all right? There's a shark. It... I know it sounds crazy, all right? You gotta go! I was on with y'all smoking. <laughs> <laughs> listen to me, kid. You gotta get your friends and you gotta leave now. Y'all need to leave. Problem. We got a bigger one. to find out here. Well, it started here, so we're gonna finish it here. What have we done to show? Just keep looking. of them anyway. Hey, that's the book from the museum. Hey, what's it to you? I need it to stop the shark. Well, why do you think I stole it? I wasn't sure. To find a way to kill the shark without hurting Alice. Your wife's dead. Wrong. Well, then where is she? Why is she here? Shut up. Commune the dead. Is this... no? Hmm. 
un esperito puede enviarse a mundo utilizando un talismán del arma que lo mató. That means, uh, that means a spirit can be sent back to the netherworld by using a talisman. Made from the object that killed it. Si no tan estúpido como ves. Ni se te. So we have to use this? Better hope that was the kill shot. Nuh-uh. Your daddy brought this horror into our world. You get to send it back. Seen anything yet? He knows we're coming. Huh? I said he's scared. He knows we got his number. The number of the beast. Frank, that doesn't even make sense. Shut up and start chumming. I knew I shouldn't have come out here with you. You lost your damn mind. I said start chumming. We don't need to chum. We are the chum. All we need is the will to live, and that thing is coming after us. That's the point. In order to kill it, you got to be willing to die. It's over, Frank. I'm turning this boat around right now. You want to run that by me again? Get back to chumming before I blow off your head. to death? Yeah. Something like that. Whoa! There it is! There it is! Get out there. Ava! Ava, get out of the water! No, no, you stay right there, sweetheart. Ava! What are you doing? You're doing just fine. Ava! Ava! Wait! Get out of the water! Come on, sis. How do you feel? Too 
It's not as easy as I thought. You must have missed something. Maybe we're looking at this the wrong way. What do you mean? From the settlers, the ones that died in the 18th century, all that bad energy is still in the cave. Maybe it's the cave we need to blow up. That's gonna take some, some serious ammunition. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't talk like that. We passed a construction site on the way over here. They were blasting. They have dynamite. No! Nobody has blown up nothing! Forget that. Look, Finch, I'm really sorry about your wife, but she's been dead for a long time. And we need to save the people in this town that are still alive. She's still alive, damn it! In this world! Hey! Give me that. Hey! Stay where you are. I can't lose her again! Don't you understand that? I won't do it! I can't do it! It wasn't your fault. She drowned. I killed her! She was always looking for little treasures. She thought they were treasures. Whenever there was a high tide, the trinkets and the objects from the sunken ships would show up, drift into that little cave. Like those. I love my wife, but we fought all the time, especially if we were both drinking. Things could get ugly between the two of us. And Allison, she would tend to get violent when I made her mad. I lost control. By the time I realized what I was doing, it was too late. I ran back to the lighthouse. I told the sheriff Allison was in the cave when the high tide rolled in. They ruled it a drowning, but they always suspected I'd done it. Worse, I had to live knowing I'd done it. Only solace I've had is knowing she must have forgiven. She must have known I wasn't in my right mind. <laughs> or else she could have come back for revenge, like, like, like. Those settlers like that shark. You're worried about Allison's spirit if we blow up the cave? What do you mean? What do you mean? Check it out. Look! Look! I'm not gonna lose her again. Look! Finn, I understand your pain. I do. But I'm not gonna let innocent people die just to soothe your guilty conscience. So you can help me or not, but I'm gonna do this with or without you. I cannot let you do that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Give me that book! You're making a Put mistake. It Give me that book, kid! There's gotta be another way. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it. But we can help. Rich, you learned how to pick a lock. You too? Almost done it. Voila. You want me to drive? No. Can I drive? No. Oh.
Anybody on board? Son of a bitch. It's locked. I mean, we could probably jump it, but that's barbed wire. Can you get us in? No way. That shirt doesn't work on padlocks. Then we have to ram it. Destruction of property, theft of highly explosive material, breaking, entering. Tell it to the judge if he's still alive. Punch it. My turn. We have to do this. I know you do. And I'm here to help. Let's get her down! Go. That's one. Okay. All good. Hurry up! The ladder's what? 
bitch. I said I don't swim, not I can't swim. Who's going now? <laughs> talks about Mick and uh, Taylor and your dad and... Oh, Cameron. What day is it today? Tuesday? <laughs> uh, 